Hi YouTube, uh, this will be a short video um, just highlighting uh, certain things about uh, what you should have on your Mac if you're a first time Mac user. Uh, there's a few things that uh, you'll probably find uh, you have some problems with but not a big one, not big problems. It's uh, when trying to use certain uh, things that you're used to using with your PC like playing uh, certain video formats uh, like uh, WMVs uh, which is Window Media Player um, and uh, a few other uh, video files that you may have come across as a PC or a Mac user that you couldn't access. There's a few essentials that you would need to, uh, to, to, to download and install onto your computer to get those kind of files to run. Um, I'll just show you what I've got on mine. <coughs> System preferences. And this is a definite must. It's Flip for Mac. Basically it allows you to play WMV files, um, which is kind of neat. Um, and that's uh, the, these are all free purchases. You don't have to pay for anything like that. Um, and then Perion as well, which is another good one, which allows you to play uh, a multitude of different uh, video formats, like that one, DVI-X, um, a few other. Um, it also does the Windows Media Player as well. But the uh, the, <coughs> the good thing is that they don't conflict with each other. This Perion and um, and Flip for Mac. They both work quite well. Um, another one is Growl, but um, that, that could be for another video. Um, but those two in particular are the most uh, essential, um, Perian and, and Flip for Mac. So I'm just going to show you how to install those. So pop into. Okay, let's go into uh, the web browser. I'm just going to type in Flip for Mac. Uh, we're just going to go into Telestream Products Overview. Okay, uh, this is uh, the company that produces uh, this particular type of software. They do lots of other stuff. Uh, ScreenFlow is a, a fantastic uh, screen recording software, which uh, you know um, I'd like to purchase at some point. Um, but this is pretty cool. Uh, but we're just interested in this at the moment, which is Flip for Mac uh, WMV. Uh, there is a buy option here, but we're just going to go to uh, we're going to click on the the, the actual um, display icon here because if we hit the buy button uh, we're going to go to the uh, a different version which we don't want at the moment so I'm just going to click on that and what we want to download is the player we don't want to buy the, the Pro um, unless you want to buy the Pro, the Pro will give you certain other options um, that if you're maybe a, a recording artist or something like that or you do um, a lot of um, editing within that format the Pro would be excellent for you but uh, to be honest just to get WMV, you know, files to play. Um, I think uh, we just need a free version, so we just hit on that get now. Um, it takes you through about a di billion different different options here. We just want to go and download this version. So um, just below system requirements, it tells you what you need and what you don't need. Make sure your system does comply with these. Um, so we're going to click on <coughs> download Windows Media component for QuickTime. Uh, which it is basically this this particular component is just a, an add-in for your for your QuickTime player. Um, so if you when you click on a Windows Media Player or you've downloaded a Windows uh, Media file, it will open it up in QuickTime because this is the plugin. Okay, so we click on the download button, and it should automatically start. If it doesn't, uh, you can prompt it by clicking that button saying Start Download. This is the flip for Mac. Yeah, so you would normally, when uh, ever downloading a file with uh, a DMG attached to it, um, you double click on it and it'll open up in here. And you just double click on that and it will install it onto your system. And you should have a lovely little icon in your system preferences for flip for Mac. Um, it won't need any of the details here because it's a free version. Um, uh, but if you want to upgrade, it will then, you know, uh, import your name into here once you click on, on the upgrade version. Um, but uh, you can click for weekly updates. So it's a nifty little, nifty little player. Uh, the next one on is Perian. So I'm just going to show you how to download Perian. Uh, make sure you eject everything once you know you've got it. Get rid of everything. Okay, next one is Perian. Select the Perian for Mac because it can 
associate itself with different things. That's what we want. Perian, the Swiss Army knife of quick time components. The the one below it we could actually just go on to because uh, that takes us straight to the download. So uh, if you beat me to it. But either way, this main front page will show us straight to this this download Perian 1.14. So we'll click on that and it should take us straight to the download. If you're wondering what these little messages are, that's uh, that's a, another application. I will show you it. I think I will show you it. That's another quick download. Uh, Perry in here. Uh, double click as usual. So DMG file is normal. And you would just click on the Perry and Pref pane. Once you've double clicked on that, it will then. Uh, well, mine is saying replace because I've actually got a version, but I'm just going to click and cancel. But it will <coughs> add the little icon there for Perian, which is another helpful product. Um, the the little thing I told you before, let's get rid of that. The really helpful uh, thing is Growl. It's an awesome uh, application that um, basically uh, tells you that there's. Um, even though you know you're doing it, if you're doing many different things at the same time, downloading this, downloading that, um, you can you can have this this system where it actually tells you um, that it's 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 downloading or it's finished downloading um, certain things, uh, or it will tell you that you've just received an email if it's not on the same. If you're using Spaces, uh, for for instance, and you swap them between different uh, different screens, <coughs> and you have an application on each of those screens, it will tell you. That uh, you've uh, just downloaded something, and you go, oh, so in the middle of something else, you would jump to that screen and see that the file has been downloaded to your desktop. So it's a nifty little, um, nifty little uh, application. So I'll just show you how to install that. Back into Safari. Some might find this a, a helpful tool, some might not, but uh, it doesn't come standard with Mac, but uh, I think it's a nifty little tool, so um, once again, just download ground. And that tells you that, so it tells you that, you can just get rid of that if you don't want that anymore. And like I said, if we were downloading several at the same time, several files at the same time, it would tell us it's been downloaded and then each files been downloaded, really nifty, really healthy, helpful. And the same as normal, just double click on it, and then you would, if you've got a previous version, because uh, there has been an update, I just updated mine this morning, uh, you uninstall it first, <coughs> and then reinstall, and any, any extras that you got, like uh, Growl Mail, a couple of other stuff there with uh, different, um, like Growl Mail, Growl, uh, growl uh, Motifier, and some stuff on Safari, and, uh, I've got a nifty little thing here called uh, Growl Tunes. Uh, you can activate it without having to use the actual icon, and you can rate tunes while they're playing. Yeah, really, really cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, I hope these uh, these uh, for any new Mac users that uh, haven't used any of these uh, applications before find this helpful. Let me know. Post a comment in the uh, uh, just below, and uh, any of these links. Um, to these websites will be in the description bar so thanks very much and uh, also if you can just rate my video that'd be really cool thanks very much bye